The Calgary Police Service is currently investigating after a man attended hospital after being shot with an arrow. Just after 3 a.m. on Monday, June 15th, 2015, a man drove himself to an urgent care facility after being shot in an underground parkade in the 800 block of 4 Avenue Southwest. He was transported to hospital in life-threatening condition. However, his condition has since been upgraded to stable. It is not yet known whether this was a random incident and the investigation continues. We ask anyone with information about this incident is asked to call police or crime stoppers with any information they may have. Uh, at this time, if you've got any questions, I'll try and tackle them. Uh, I don't know how many times at this point. Um, I can't say the upper torso. Was the arrow still in him when he arrived at the health center? Those details I don't know. Do we, there seems to be some confusion. Do we know what kind of bow weapon it was? Was it a crossbow? Was it a bow? That I don't know, and that'll be part of the investigation, uh, one of the, uh, the objectives of the uh, detectives involved to, to try and answer. So it's not because they were reporting this morning that it was a crossbow. That's not clear at this point? Yeah, n not at this point, no. Um, the uh, the victim, uh, any reason to believe he might have been targeted for any reason? Is there? Uh, again, that'll be part of the investigation to establish um, um, any motives or if, uh, if there's anybody that may have had uh, a beef to, to pick with this individual. Is he cooperating? As far as I know, yes. What has he said to police about what happened? Uh, very limited information. and. You know, given the, the nature um, of the circumstances in hospital, we'll wait until the medical staff has had a chance to, to finish with them and stabilize them, and then we'll be able to talk to them. How unusual, How unusual is this kind of violence in our city? Well, in uh, my 27 years, I've never heard of an incident um, where an arrow was involved. Police identified a suspect? Not at this point, no. Any leaks or eyes? Uh, Nothing at this point. Is there cameras in the uh, parking? That'll be part of the investigation for the investigators to try and find CCTV cameras uh, uh, in in the the area where the incident happened or around the area to try and figure out. Should people be worried that there's a lone bowman wandering around, uh, potentially randomly targeting people? Well, um, you know, common sense is if if we've got an individual walking around. Uh, the downtown core or any street for that matter with uh, a bow and arrow or a crossbow or any kind of weapon, uh, we absolutely want the public to call us. What's the connection of the victim and this parkade? That I don't know. You don't know if he was a resident or what he was doing there at 3 in the morning? Not at this point, no. That'll be part of the investigation when we uh, finish with our interview with the individual. And if he drove himself to the hospital, is that correct? Correct, yeah. It was an urgent care facility. Can you confirm which, which one that was? It, it was in the downtown core, um, yes. urgent. Just to confirm, um, Duty Inspector, you mentioned I've never seen an incident where an arrow was involved. Do we, in fact, know that an arrow was involved? Is that just what he's saying? Like, did you see, was an arrow seen, or whether in him or out of him? An arrow was involved. Uh, and you said, oh, a, a friend. Was there a, a friend that was... Um, I don't believe at the time he was injured. Um, I think a friend with him when he attended uh, urgent care. And he's still in hospital? Correct. Can you talk about his age or where he's from? I can say he's an adult male. Uh, that's as much as I know about the individual. Anything else? Can you talk about the size of the arrow? Like was it a big arrow, a small arrow, or did it break off? I don't have any details on that. No. Do you know if there was a break-in at the parkade? Not uh, that I'm aware of. Okay. 